tonight we are hearing from the lead investigator with the Bernalillo County District Attorney's Office who helped uncover a multi state sex trafficking ring, though had it not been for a health care worker who knew what signs to look for. This case may have never been opened. News 13's Brady Wakayama is here with the details. Brittany, I want to warn our viewers that some details in this story are disturbing. Now, the district attorney's office says two men are now facing federal charges for buying and selling a 19 year old woman from Santa Fe. This victim felt trapped and coerced. It started in September 2019 when investigators say a 19 year old Santa Fe woman met a man in Texas through a dating app. Investigators say on the day they met in person, 35 year old Alfonso Rosco Juarez from Dallas kidnapped the victim at gunpoint forcing her into slavery and threatened to kill her and her family. Alfonso Juarez uh, not only used his pistol to, to strike the victim in the face, but would brag about it and remind the victim that he did it to her in multiple text messages after it as a way to coerce and keep the victim in line. Special Agent Kyle Hartsock with the Bernalillo County District Attorney's Office started working on this case after getting a call from a local clinician. I got a referral from a behavioral health clinician here in Albuquerque who was helping a patient who believed she was part of a sex trafficking group. Hartsock says a four month investigation revealed the clinician's fears were true. He posted an advertisement for her online. Hartsock says Juarez agreed to sell the victim to a man who went by the username The Darkest Lord. He was later identified as 66 year old Robert Hubert from South Carolina. He agreed to pay $5,000 in cash and drive from South Carolina all the way to Dallas, Texas. Uh, paid for her in cash and then drove her back to South Carolina. There, investigators say the victim endured horrific abuse, but eventually was allowed to call her parents, who negotiated her release. The victim returned to New Mexico and met the clinician who alerted Hartsock. The healthcare worker that reached out did the right thing, and without her knowing what to look for and what to do, this, this likely isn't a case. Hartsock then worked with law enforcement in Texas and South Carolina, ultimately leading to the arrest of both men. These two individuals are still just at home victimizing other people. Now, both Juarez and Hubert are now in federal custody. Both face up to life in federal prison if convicted of the sex trafficking charges. Brittany, back to you. Okay, Brady, investigators say there are most likely more victims that will be revealed in this case, but they did not disclose how many or where they may be from.